Hi everybody, it's Heath Buckmaster from the Retail Edge program. Today we're going to be upgrading Vista to Windows 7 Ultimate in 3 hours and 20 minutes. At least that's how long it took for me to do it. Um, when I did a fresh install, it only took about 10 minutes, and so obviously this is going to take a lot longer, but we're going to go through the process and I'll show you what happened. So we put in the DVD, autoplay comes up, and we're just ready to click setup.exe and get this thing going. First thing I did was check compatibility just to make sure that my system was ready to go. This will run the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor and I do recommend to everyone who's doing an upgrade go ahead and download and run this from the system. The nice thing is this will tell you if you've got some problem programs on your computer. It also lets you know that things like Windows Mail and Parental Controls and some of the ultimate extras from Vista are no longer supported and it will be getting rid of those. So I'm seeing that I'm going to have some possible problems with my Net Lexmark printer, my Logitech Quick Cam. I need to de uh, authorize iTunes and I probably need to uninstall Pinnacle Studio and reinstall it afterward. You'll have varying things that show up on your list and I recommend you follow those instructions. So now I'm ready to install it and of course the very common screen that we're all used to seeing setup is copying a lot of files and setup is starting. Basically this is the portion where the DVD is dumping a lot of files onto your hard drive and getting ready for the install. So one important thing, you want to make sure you go online for any updates that it needs for its installation. Could be some important service pack items for you or various updates. I accept the licensing terms and I'm ready to begin an upgrade. I could also do a fresh install if I wanted to, but for the purposes of this video I want to show a Vista to Windows 7 upgrade. Next up we begin the upgrade process. It spends quite a bit of time copying Windows files to the hard drive. It will reboot several times. It then gathers file settings and program information and expands those Windows files. Uh, these first three components don't take too much time. I would say that um, once I got done with expanding the files, I was at about one hour and 26 minutes before it was ready to move on to the next phase. So now we're gathering files, program information. Again, this is all part of that one hour and 26 minutes period of time. Uh, again, if you've got a relatively fast computer, I'm installing this on a Core i7 system from Intel, it will go relatively quickly. If you're installing it on a slower system, then you need to adjust for the time. So now we've completed the first portion of the installation. Setup is once again rebooting and it's going to start the next phase of the upgrade process. Um, when I went through this, as I mentioned, the first three components of the upgrade took approximately one hour and 26 minutes. Through varying reboots and uh, screens that you're seeing right now, we're almost ready to start the next phase of this. So far, so good. I haven't noticed any major problems as it goes through. There are times when the system looks like it's pausing for a long period of time without a lot of disk activity, um, but eventually it will come back and you'll see more things happening. At this point in the process, we're at one hour and 35 minutes when it begins that final step of transferring the files, settings, and programs. This is the longest part of the installation. It can take two to four hours to complete this process depending upon what you've got installed on your system. And now we're starting up Windows, we're almost there. I've completed the final phase or rather we're at the end of the final phase and we're really pushing close to three hours here. Transferring file settings and programs as I said, longest phase, you might want to step away and come back. Okay, three hours is almost or is up. I'm going to enter my product key. The first thing it asks me to do is uh, recommended settings for when it's going to update itself. I also noticed that the time on my computer was just a couple minutes behind, and so I'm going to reset that. Next, it asks me about my network setup. I am currently on a home network, so I will choose that option and have it automatically set up the network for me, including any firewall settings that it needs to configure.
And now we're ready to go. In just a moment, you're going to see my user IDs pop up on the screen, and that's the installation. We've gone three hours and 20 minutes. That's pretty good, I think. Um, three hours and 20 minutes was certainly uh, very close to what it took to go from XP to Vista, although I have to say it was a much longer process. The only thing that bothered me about this installation is having to uninstall programs before installing the upgrade, and now I have to go back and reinstall those things. But otherwise, it was a relatively painless three hours and 22 minutes from start to finish. And that's what we did to upgrade Vista Ultimate to Windows 7 Ultimate. Have a great day.